the the John Singleton thing, and I talked about this yesterday. It was it's really it makes me sad for a couple. Like obviously, you're sad when anybody passes on, mm-hmm. and I think all deaths deaths are are sad, but they're not all um, unexpected. They're not all because I can tell you when I saw John, he he looked he didn't look healthy to me, mm-hmm. and I thought to myself. When he was coming back from uh, doing, uh, I think the upfronts, he was doing snowfall, and he didn't look healthy to me. And I thought, oh, some, something's wrong. But you can't be shocked when, uh, you know, older men of color are on high blood pressure medicine and they have a stroke. And when they, you yeah. have high, it's a, uh, they, they, we have to do, we have to start stop being shocked when things happen the way doctors say they do. Hmm. Like, like, like if you, if you, if you. You should, you know, exercise. All uh, you should have change your diet. You should take your medication. You can't be shocked when things that doctors say might happen will. Well, the other thing is you have to believe that it could happen. Absolutely. Because I think there there comes a point in your life where you need to realize that you have now become your parents. Right. But you don't want to see yourself that way, so you still try to eat and act like you're 21 years old, yeah. and you're not. Right. And it's very difficult to say, I need to go to the doctor. I have to take this medicine every single day. Oh, I can skip a day. No, I, you can't. I have a friend, and he's a really good friend of mine. This dude will eat fried chicken and soda and <laughs> grind his... High blood pressure yeah. medicine up and put it in his uh, soda. Oh, I'm not even playing. Are you joking? I'm not joking at all. Wow. So I'm not the, joking at all. There's the keto diet and then there's the ghetto diet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Roger. <laughs>